in this uh, video I will be explaining the solution to a problem on epicyclic wheel train this problem occurred in the uh, loop elements of mechanism by Dante and Jones and uh, this is the uh, problem given the uh, rotation of uh, shaft D we'll have to find the revolution of shaft F and its direction so we are also given this uh, three-dimensional representation of the same mechanism including the direction of rotation of the various gear components as a first step we have to determine which parts belong and which do not belong to the epicyclic train we have this as uh, train 1 and we have to analyze it separately we will also have uh, train 2 this is train 2 we have to analyze it separately and uh, after that then we can proceed with the analysis of the uh, epicyclic bevel train component of the whole mechanism this is the epicyclic bevel train of the mechanism and after that the output uh, results will have to be used to determine the revolution of F for this uh, train F train 3 component so uh, first we have to uh, analyze train 1 negative 3 is uh, the rotation of D and then we will multiply it with uh, negative 1 which is derived from uh, this relationship of the directional arrow they are opposite in direction and so we have negative 1 for this uh, portion we we'll have to multiply this with uh, the uh, number of teeth of the driver gears and uh, the number of teeth of the driven gears so we have 0 0.75 positive as the rotation of the arm now we can proceed with uh, train 2 and uh, we have negative 3 again for the rotation of D multiply it with negative 1 negative 1 is derived again from this relationship of the direction of the uh, uh, initial and the final shaft and again we multiply with the uh, number of rotation of the teeth of the drivers over the number of rotation a uh, number of teeth of the uh, driven and we have plus 6 as the output of uh, that train 2 and now we can proceed with the epicyclic wheel train component so uh, here is the epicyclic wheel train and we have to analyze it using the tabulation method so uh, first we have this 0 0.75 and plus 6 as we have earlier calculated and uh, with this step 1 we have to put 0 0.75 in the arm and gears 9 and 10 and uh, 13 and 15 second step we have to fix the arm and that means we have to put 0 which when we add to 0 0.75 will give us a resultant of 0 0.75 for gears 9 and 10 we have to add 5.25 to 0.75 to give us 6 which is what we have earlier derived a while ago so we can proceed with gears 13 and 15 and the negative one is uh, derived from this relationship of the arrow directional arrow again they are in opposite direction and that means they have to be negative again do we multiply this uh, with the number of teeth of the driver gears over the number of teeth of the driven gears and uh, this value for gears uh, 13 and 15 can be easily derived or co converted into negative 8.75 and the resultant is negative 8 when added to 0.75 so we now have negative 8 for that particular bevel gear and we'll analyze now train 3 
So the number of rotation of x is uh, negative 18 multiplied by positive 1 because they have the same direction of rotation multiplied by the number of feet of the driver uh, and uh, over the number of feet of the driven gear for a final answer of negative 36.